Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Patriots versus Seahawks NFL Week 2 matchup on Sunday, September 15th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. I've also got a link directly below this video in the description. Prices range between $15 all the way up to yearly packages, but use that discount code PICK and get 15% off. If you have a big bankroll and you make big bets and you're looking for that VIP concierge style package, kind of that exclusive VIP experience, we offer that as well, but they're not available on the website. That is our most expensive premium product, so keep that in mind. But if you're interested, text that number. But let's head to Foxborough with the New England Patriots taking on the Seattle Seahawks. You know, the two winners in week one, you know, the Seahawks beating the Denver Broncos did not cover the spread in that outing, while the Patriots, probably the biggest shocker in week one, knocking off the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. Now, the thing is, is that we have to remember that the Patriots eh, still are very much a work in progress. And, you know, they what they did, they did a lot of the things that we saw under the positive things that they did under Bill Belichick all those years. Didn't beat themselves, took advantage of of their opponent's mistakes, the fumbles, the interceptions, made created those opportunities, took advantage of those opportunities, and at least put points on the board and, you know, didn't, you know, walk away with a lot of empty trips, even though some of those ended up in field goals. It is a very good formula. Rushing the football, playing defense, these are all kind of the boring things about football, but these are the things that are tried and true and always work no matter what new offense, what new system, what rule changes happen. You run the football, you play defense, you don't turn over the football, you are going to win games. And the Seattle Seahawks on the other side of it, well, these guys are absolutely loaded when it comes to receivers. They have one of the best receiver rooms in the NFL, but we didn't really see that come to fruition there against the Denver Broncos. You know, I expected to see, you know, when you have these type of guys on your team, you're expected to see big numbers. But for Geno Smith, it was just 171 yards passing with one touchdown and one interception. Seahawks seemed content to rush the football with Walker. Of course, we saw him last year before the injury. He looked very good last year. He looks even better this year. 103 yards and a touchdown um, in that in that game against the Broncos. Zach Charbonnet getting some quality minutes as well. Eight carries, but he only got a dozen yards in that thing. Lockett, still the stalwart of that receiving core with Metcalf, with Njigba. You know, it's just who do, who do you guard? And then Font, the tight end. The Seahawks are loaded. It's just a matter of distributing the football. For the Patriots, Ramondre Stevenson was impressive running the ball against the Patriots, against the Bengals. To me, it wasn't like the, the uh, numbers that he put up, the 120 yards on 25 carries. It was just, seemed on third down and four, third down and five. When the, Just when the Bengals needed a stop, he got it. You know, he would get the first down every time, and they dominated the time of possession in that game as well. Just a really good job by the Patriots. I mean, there's nothing more you can say when... When you go 15 to 24 passing, you know, for 120 yards, you rush the ball for 170 yards. Well, it's not going to be all that exciting, but, well, he did put a win on the board. I think the thing about the Patriots, though, is they're still very much a work in progress, and I think that this three-point line that's in this game really overstates it a little bit for the Patriots. I think the idea is that they're going to try and keep games close, give themselves a chance to win at the end. I don't think they're going to be able to keep this one close enough because I don't think they can run with the Seahawks. I think once the I think the Seahawks can run the football as effectively as the Patriots, and I think they have a way better receiving core. And I think the defense is going to be more than good enough. I'm going to take the Seahawks, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.